Welcome to the work in progress video, in which I'll share what new things are coming your way in World of Warships. I'm Shvrcha, reporting from our Belgrade office, where our teams work hard to bring you the best gaming experience. Because of this, World of Warships is constantly evolving, so please keep in mind that some information we present here might change in the process of development. With this out of the way, let's start! We have crunched the data and read your comments, and we're going to make some big changes, starting with Submarine. We're introducing a new torpedo feature. Submarine torpedoes will now deal different damage based on the distance from the point of launch to the target. Any hits that occur at a distance of 2.9 kilometers or less will inflict only 10% of the maximum damage. And from 2.9 kilometers to 3 kilometers, the torpedo firepower will gradually increase back to 100%. This will make close-range shotgunning harder to execute while encouraging more ships with depth charges to enter close combat engagements against submarines. Moving to the submarine upgrades, you can expect some reorganization. We'll be introducing new upgrades, modifying some old ones, and removing the obsolete ones with proper compensation. For more information about it and more detailed submarine changes, be sure to check our portal. Link below in the description. There are a few more things I want to share regarding the submarine gameplay improvements. Firstly, while submerged, players will be able to see underwater terrain by using the horn with the N key. Secondly, when a submarine emits a ping, players on the opposing team will see an indicator displaying the approximate direction of travel of the submarine. Thirdly, the proximity alert for submarines will get additional visual and audio improvements. Finally, there will be minor tweaks on several submarine stats, so stay tuned to the World of Warships channel and portal if you want to know more. Spring is right around the corner, and we all know what that means. April 1st event. This year you can expect a piñata hunt. Let me explain how it works. Two teams will be fighting each other in a 7 vs 7 format, with tier 8 and 9 ships, while also competing to sink the piñata ship. Once the piñata ship gets destroyed, a control point will appear and shrinks over time. The team that scores 1000 points or destroys all enemies first, wins. You can bet there will be some wacky shenanigans. Each ship will be randomly assigned a special camouflage for the duration of the battle. And to spice things up, the Pinati event will also introduce a new mechanic, support consumables. There will be 8 new consumables in total. All ships will get an additional consumable slot and will be able to choose one of the 5 options available for each ship type. These consumables offer an array of bonuses that can help your team in battle. During the battle, the Pinata ship will create free interactive zones when it reaches certain HP thresholds. Once an interactive zone is taken, it will provide an additional consumable charge for the whole team. Oof, that's a lot of new content coming our way. Let me finish by saying that clan players will get an extra information display. You can expect two new windows in clan interface, clan description and clan bonuses. Additionally, you'll be able to add a clickable Discord link to the clan description. There you have it. What are you looking forward to the most? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until our next video, fair seas.